and they always see him giggle because he's so jumpy and energetic and yeah, they react really well to him. Dana Lloyd used to bring her dog Gypsy to the hospital while she received her dialysis. Even though Dana finished her treatment in 2018, she continues visits to the hospital with her new dog, Carlos. I see them smile and they, then they get to tell their story about their dog. And, you know, it makes them feel happy that they can tell a story about someone, a, a pet that they love. Carlos and Duvesa are the two therapy dogs visiting the hospital today. Registered nurse Joanna Watson created the pet visitation program and says she's excited to see it up and running. It reaches a significant group of people to bring um, often a smile to their face and to make the environment, which is uncomfortable for some people, more comfortable. She says animals like Duvesa can give people an emotional connection that they can't get from humans. Dogs and pets in general can often bring a lot of comfort and peace and calm and encouragement to people. Patients going through chemotherapy or dialysis are dealing with a lot. Dana says it's important to keep mentally strong and therapy dogs are a great way to boost mental health. She was just a very much of a comfort to me to know that she was good and I would felt happy that she was there and she gave me comfort. Therapy dogs don't need any training, but they do need to pass a test before they're certified. The dog doesn't get too excitable, um, that they're able to calm down, no jumping. Um, they don't react uh, too quickly to loud noises. The hospital hasn't decided how often they'll bring dogs in. However, Joanna says they're aiming for twice a month. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDC TV News. Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.